morning everybody. I'm Dave Dave on my way to see Andrew Andrew and apparently we're going to be doing Asper Attack Hill today. Keep watching, find out what happens. Hello dear viewer and welcome to this video. I hope you're doing really well. My thanks to Dave Dave for the introduction. On this ride, I'm challenging Dave to take on the mighty mountainous Chroma Ridge, feared by riders from around the world. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, or maybe not. The ride starts from Norwich and we head north through the peaceful market town of Reefham up to Holt. We plan to take a coffee break there before dropping down to Weybourne and then attempting the climb known on Strava as Asthma Attack Hill. Then it's southeast, passing North Walsham and calling in at Horstead before returning home a round trip of some 100 kilometers. So I hope you're sitting comfortably. Let's begin the ride, riding up to Reefham. Reefham is a picturesque town mentioned in the Doomsday Book in 1086 and has had market town status since 1277. Reefham is one of only two places in Europe to have three churches on the same site, St Mary's, St Michael's and the remains of All Saints Church which burned down in 1543, leaving only a fragment of its tower. Reefham has retained a great charm with its traditional individual shops. There's a butcher's, a pub, and the stylish Dial House restaurant and bed and breakfast. Which is more than what I can say for the bicycle advertising the place. Looks like one of Dave's bikes. Cheers Dave. If you ride in Norfolk, you'll know that despite the county's flat reputation, it's surprisingly rolling toward the north. And as we roll over the countryside, it's great to see the spring lambs in the field. Spring is arriving. Holt is another beautiful Norfolk market town, whose name is similar to the German word for wood or Holtz. It's believed the town name does in fact originate from the Anglo-Saxon word for wood. Coming into Holt, a coffee stopper, Byfords. Is it open? I'm going to grab a Americano and a something, a scone or something. Is that outside? Yeah, yeah, sure. Oh, no. oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'll just get this. Just take away stuff. Yeah, sorry, take away. <laughs> Yeah. what you need, something it's dense and full of calories. To the centre of the sun and it was less dense there. <laughs> uh, black Americano please and a piece of carrot cake.
There was a great firing halt on the 1st of May 1708 and it's commemorated on a board just outside the cafe. It devastated the town, destroying most of the medieval town buildings in just three hours. After that great coffee and cake, we drop down to Weybourne and make our way up Station Road to the station on the Poppy Line. This is the location of the infamous climb. Oh, cyclist. Morning. Hi. Oh, brilliant. So we met a couple of fellow cyclists. We're going to give this um, climb a go. It's asthma attack. I think it's about, is it about 11 degrees? I think 11%, 11, 11 11%, something like that. So uh, let's see how we get on. <laughs> right, let's go. Right. <laughs> Two guys up front there, they, they're showing us how to do it and me and Dave will show you how not to do it. <laughs> Many a true word spoken in jest and I well and truly jinxed it. Oh jeez, my rear, my rear mech's stuck. The rear mech is stuck. Oh, yeah. I can't get it to shift. Oh, this is ridiculous. I can't shift it at the back. Yeah. Yeah. I charged it last night. It's charged. Talk about muscle it up. <laughs> the rear mech stopped shifting. I didn't want to stop knowing that I would end up walking if I did, so I pressed on, grinding up the hill in a 36 11 ratio, meaning my cadence was a terribly low 40. Oh my god. Can't get the rear mech to change. Just muscled it up there. Seriously. That was hideous. Look at that chain. DI2 is the name given to the Shimano electronic shifting system for changing gears. It consists of a battery, a junction box, and wires to front and rear derailleur motors. Oh, do you know anything about DI2? There's a crash reset, isn't there? Sometimes if it stops, it's uh, got on a crash reset. I can't remember what I have to do. I think I have to... It's not... Look, it will... It's shifting down. It's not shifting up. So he literally just started doing it. So you gotta shift it out of this small one then, at all. Wow. You're the electronics expert. I'll just pull that out and put it back in. Yeah. in properly at the front. Into the, the Because I've managed to yank. Could be put. Yeah, because I pulled it out last night to. Yeah, is it in properly? I lifted it up oh, and I was It's really difficult to get to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, get it's it's not awkward. It's got to be a loose connection, isn't it? Ah! Right. Angry. Right. Okay. It did indeed turn out to be a loose connection. I must have disturbed it the evening before when I was recharging the DI2 battery. The issue was I couldn't get access to the junction box without the proper tool, so I had to improvise a hack to get me going again. Oh man, what, what an experience. We've got a problem with the DI2. That's what I fixed. <laughs> Tied on with a black rubber glove. 
I've had to break this little holder for the DI2 junction box because the rear mech wasn't changing and for some reason the connection had just come out. So people, make sure you carry a two mil star key with you because otherwise you can't get into that junction box. Lesson learned. Thanks Canyon. <laughs> Thanks Canyon, yeah. I wonder, I wonder how much they're gonna charge to replace for that little broken bit of plastic I just broke. Comment below. <laughs> Any suggestions on DI2 maintenance? Comment below. <laughs> Oh well, at least I've got a few gears to get home. Well, the good news is the DI2 is shifting correctly again. So it must have just been a loose connection. Thank goodness for that. We're at Horstead. This is a little launching point for canoeing. Come down here quite a bit with my canoe and we can just launch just down there. Done 88k, just on the final stretch home. A cereal bar. Thanks Dave. <laughs> Grey's bar. Well, it's been a really super ride up to Holt with Dave and I'm nearly back at Norwich. I think it's about to start tipping it down. It's already drizzling and we'll call it a day that. So hopefully spring's not too far around the corner and there'll be more rides to look forward to with better weather. So until the next time, thanks for watching. See you again. Take care.